So what's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. This is Ryan from Freedom Foods Farm and today what we got to do is we have a little bit of a project. So one of the things I forgot to mention um, in the video about how we're assessing the new farm across the street at my dad's place, um, there's a fence missing. As you can see that goes to the neighbor's land. This is ours. Neighbors, ours. Problem is cows can walk back and forth, no problem. So what we have to do is we have to take a line and we have to build a fence from here all the way over there. It's not too far, it's like maybe 200 feet. Um, shouldn't take too terribly long. I'm just, I don't know if I'm gonna finish it today, but, because I've never done this before, but I have a good idea how to do it. Um, but we're just gonna get everything set up. I'm gonna run a line, make sure it's straight. That way it's all good. And then uh, we'll go and start putting in flags for T-posts and maybe we can be putting in T-posts today. And if we're real lucky, we might go get some barbed wire from Tractor Supply, but that's being a little bit, uh, that's being a little bit optimistic. That's being a little bit too optimistic. So we're gonna do that and uh, just go from there. See, there's something good for uh, this farm works um, poly wire from tractor supply you know this stuff right here they say it's good for five years with the you know to be electrified and to move cows and stuff no it's good for like five months don't buy this stuff it's a waste of money well unless you're gonna use it to run run a line so you can see exactly where you're at but I can think of 20 things cheaper than that the, to do that with but that's just what I have but now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go with these flags here and I'm gonna walk um, all the way and count 12 feet in between uh, T-posts, because it's relatively flat. You don't think you're gonna need a uh, 10 feet space, and I think we can go get away with 12 here. I do have a pretty big advantage here because uh, I don't need a tape measure, I don't need anything, especially when your feet, yeah, I wear size 12s. So all I have to do is count 12 steps, throw a flag, count 12 steps, throw a flag, do that all the way down. Okay, then we go get the T-posts, lay them out, pound them in, and uh, then we might be ready for wire. Okay, perfect. Now we have it all marked off about where we need the T-post. Then we're going to go place the T-post and then do my favorite thing. And then we're just going to start pounding them in, which kind of sucks. Now for the fun part. Now let's do that 15 more times. Well, that was much easier than I thought it was gonna be. Not too shabby for a first time really putting up perimeter fence. It's crazy how much stronger you get out here just by just doing daily activities. I mean, the first time that I ever had to do something like this, I had to pound in 40 of these posts. It took me all day long and I was dead tired. This was like nothing. It took me maybe 25 minutes to do all 16 of these and I was wasn't rushing I was going pretty slow and uh, Yeah, now I think we have enough time to where we might be able to run tractor supply and actually put some of this wire up today That'd be pretty cool Okay, we picked up our barbed wire and our fence stretcher and uh, Now I have we're getting to the area of I where I really don't know what I'm doing So we're gonna come here and look at what the pros did and uh, I can say oh, you know what? I can do that Staple on the back, twice around, four times looped, and then go down, and then, gotta figure out how to do this. I have an idea, but I'm not 100% sure. And then uh, right under the first little nub there. Um, and then just go all the way down, and then do that over here, stretch it with the new fence stretcher on the other side. I think I can do that. So my first attempt, not gonna film because it's gonna be a pain in the butt to try and do and I'm probably gonna mess up a couple times. So once uh, I get the first one in and done, then I'll come back and uh, see you, see what you guys think. Okay, check it out, I did it. I did one wire. Not gonna lie, pretty proud of myself. It's done on that end. It's done on that end. Yeah, we're looking pretty good. That's uh, tight enough for me. 
because I don't know how to get it any tighter and uh, that works. Not gonna lie, one of the things that I've been like a little bit intimidated about is barbed wire fence. Why? Because I just don't know how to do it and it looked a lot more complicated than it is. This is actually pretty easy to do. So far we've done one strand, now we gotta do four more. But we're gonna do that right now. Battery's going a little bit low, so uh, I might just show putting up the last strand. Maybe, we'll see. But this is a lot, it, it's a lot more simple, simple when, when you're actually doing it than when you're actually seeing it on the on YouTube or on wherever you're watching it. Um, it's pretty cool, pretty cool. Well, check it out. Look at this, I did it. Five strands, barbed wire fence, all by myself. Not too shabby, I have a couple little things to go back and clean up. Like just uh, like cut this off right there and clean it up just a little bit. But I did it. it wasn't too bad at all. To be honest, it was actually pretty easy. You know, we had uh, the other, this side of the fence done by some pros, uh, like right around Christmas time. That's part of the deal when we got the place, is that they would build a fence along the, the, uh, the perimeter. But somehow, they, the fence guys forgot, apparently forgot, I guess, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt, to do this side right here. This is about a thousand feet, or between 800 and a thousand feet, and it took six guys three days to do. Six professionals three days to do, well, like two and three quarter days to do 800 feet. So I was a little bit intimidated and figured, oh, you know what, this is going to be a multi-stage thing because this is like 200 and something feet. And I went, oh, okay, I'm going to just go slow and see how, how much I can get done. Well, I ended up going really fast and one super newbie was able to do it in like four hours. And that's including going and getting the wire and the new fence stretcher there. Or, yeah, fence stretcher. And uh, look at this. It's pretty... I'm pretty happy with it. It'll keep uh, the cows in, other cows out, and it works. It's not even hard work, it's just more monotonous, just doing the same thing over and over and over and over again. Now, granted, I did have a, you know, it was clear runway or, or fence way that I, I didn't have to go clear any brush or anything, but that wasn't, that wasn't hard. Like now, I know if, uh, if I need to redo a fence or, you know, if a fence goes down, I can do it, no problem. This is it's actually kind of kind of relaxing being out here. Look, look how beautiful the day is. We've had storms like all last week. Uh oh, manual focus, autofocus. There we go. And look at this. How gorgeous it is! Is it to be out here? Like you can see our farm all the way over there. But this is nice. I actually don't mind this literally at all. Semi good workout. Like I said, it's not too hard of a thing to do what I got to get next time is something to unroll the barbed wire easier because it, it just I had to kick it and I had to like spin it and I need to get like a barbed wire unroller thing I don't know what it's called but I'm gonna look it up that was the one thing I'm missing if because if I had that that would have saved me an hour but not too bad now now what we can do is this is the the other cows are uh, closed off from here the fence is now closed this is gonna have 21 days of complete rest and recovery. 100% rest and recovery. So now, in the, this is the spring flush that's heading. This is gonna grow up like crazy. And hopefully somewhere after the 21 days, we can move the steers over here. So pretty, pretty cool. So my project for the week is probably gonna be putting up the lane down the middle of this like we did over there, which has worked out great. Uh, fixing the pond, getting the first steps of doing that, and uh, then just getting this ready for cows, so pretty awesome. So with that, I think I'm going to sign off here because, you know, sometimes I forget to eat. Do you guys ever get so busy that you guys forget to eat? It's like 1.30 now, haven't had anything all day, so I'm going to go get some breakfast slash lunch slash probably early dinner and just have one big meal for today because that sounds, sounds pretty good. So with that... Hit that subscribe button down below to see everything that we turn this place into. So with that, hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the like button because the, the like button, what it does, it helps us boost us up in the YouTube algorithm. It helps other people like you find our channel and, uh, you know, find our videos. So very much appreciated. And then drop a comment if you like, all right? I'm tired. All right, later.